Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a vlog of our Italy trip this past June. Yeah, so we spent a few days in Rome. Our Airbnb was located very close to the Pantheon and it was also close to the Trevi Fountain. So we walked over there and yeah, as you can see, there's so many people. We walked to Via Condori. So you see we're passing Louis Vuitton. Yeah, that's the line to get into the store. It kind of wraps around the block. So that's the street with all the luxury shops. There's so many gelato stores. And of course, we had to try one every day. So day two, we had a tour of the Vatican. So here we are walking along the street about to enter the Vatican vicinity. So the tour started around 7 in the morning, so yeah, as you can see, it wasn't really packed at all. I'm not sure what this hall was called, but yeah, it was fascinating with all these sculptures. Yeah, we also passed by the wall of maps. So we went on a Wednesday. So once our Vatican tour ended, yeah, normally we would have gone to see the Basilica, but because of the papal audience, we had to wait till one o'clock and our tour ended around 10 because the only exit out to St. Peter's Basilica is through the Sistine Chapel. So again, we had to walk through the whole museum again, and at that point, it was around lunchtime. Yeah, it was pretty much shoulder to shoulder. So the Pope had the papal audience, so you'll see the chairs are stacked out in St. Peter's Square. Yeah, so more gelato. This was Gio Lodi. I believe this one is the oldest gelato shop in Rome. Their pistachio nut was so creamy and delicious. We just went to see the Trevi Fountain at night. Yeah, I think this place was more crowded at night than during the day, if that's possible. So on day three, we had a Colosseum tour, which included the underground.
It was fascinating being inside and just the sheer size of this structure. Yeah, it's amazing. It was really hot, probably like in the upper 80s to lower 90s every day. The Pantheon was literally like a block away from our Airbnb. So I'm hearing starting in July, there are fees to get inside. But when we were there the last week in June, it was still free. So the line was long. We were able to go inside very quickly. There are vendors outside selling scarves yeah, for people who are wearing tank tops or just you know exposing your shoulders you want to get those covered just to show respect in these religious buildings And later that night, we walked to the Colosseum to see it lit up. Yeah, it was beautiful as I expected. And yeah, just took a lot of pictures. And that was our last night. So the next morning we checked out. So that's a quick vlog on our short trip to Rome. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.